You're on the go with Go Gospel Radio. My name is Esther. Rick Johnson. Tawana Green. And if no one's told you that they love you today, we at Go Gospel Radio say we, we love, love you. you. You know how we do it at the Go. We pray first, but we're going to have Brother Rick Johnson to read a verse for us first. Thank you. I'm reading from Matthew 11, 29. Jesus says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall, sign, for shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Rick. Sister Tawana, would you open us with prayer? Holy Father, ruler of heaven and earth, thank you for hearing our prayers. Bless Go Gospel Radio and our advertisement who feed us, and bless us as our listeners call in and are blessed by answered prayer and help in this time of need. Lord God, we just thank you that you are yet on the throne. You hear us and you answer our prayers. Keep us, Lord. Hold us tightly in the palm of your hand. Keep us walking in your way. Help us to know that you and you alone love us. And you said in your word you would never leave us or forsake us. And let us remember that, hold on to that, no matter what we're going through, because you care. We thank you, O oh God. Give us strength, help. In Jesus' name, Jesus. amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Luan. And now it's time for our commercial break. All right, it's that time. It's time for us to introduce to some, and many of us do know I had the pleasure of seeing them perform at, um, well, it's a ministry, but they were performing for us, for the saints, at New Philadelphia Church, amen, as he is the executive producer, writer, and the founder of Praise Him. We want to welcome Minister Lorenzo Johnson, Jr. Welcome. Well, thank you. Thank you. Go Gospel. Amen. Right. Look, we have some more people here that he brought with him that's in his ministry. Your names? Oh, hi, I'm Brian. How you doing? I'm Ophelia Harper. Hello, I'm Francesca White. Amen. Now, uh, Minister Lorenzo, I saw where the Los Angeles Times quoted you as saying the government talks about how education is first, but where do they put their money? Not in the schools. The arts are the only means of expression for a lot of kids, especially in the inner city, in our community, and I want to make sure all kids have an opportunity, a way out, and escape. Explain that. Oh, well, I'm a product of um, the public school system, Los Angeles Unified School District, and um, after graduating, I participated in um, after-school programs, and um, I ended up becoming a teacher as well, and I wanted to make sure that every young person had the same opportunity to express themselves. If you don't hear your children sing, you'll probably hear them scream on the news. If you don't see their artwork, you'll probably see it on somebody's garage, so I think them being able to have a time to express themselves is vital for our society. Amen, amen. amen. Now, uh, how long has Praise Him been together? We just celebrated our third year anniversary in December. Amen, now that's awesome. Uh, you have been on the stage with Kim Burrell, Judy McAllister, that's awesome. Tell us about that. Oh my God. Um, um, these these are some of our favorite people and the honor and privilege to be listed in the same lineup with them was a remarkable, yeah. remarkable feeling, especially um, being on the platform with the newly appointed um, International Minister of Music for the Churches of God in Christ, yeah. Sister Judy McCap, Dr. Yeah. Judy McCap. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now, um, you've played at musicals, colleges, What's next? Conferences in Las Vegas, LA, what's next for Fraser? Well, actually we're excited because this coming March we'll be going to New Orleans. Um, am I saying it right? I can't say it like the down south. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> um, we're going out there um, to participate in the filming of, um, of the taping of Bobby Jones, um, one of his shows. Oh wow, now that's awesome. I heard that's really great. How do you ladies feel? Anybody want to come in on that? 
We're excited. Excited? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, it's a wonderful opportunity, and we've worked very hard, as um, Minister Johnson has said on several occasions, in an attempt to try to build a platform. Um, we've now built that platform, and now it's time to stand on it and take the Ministry of Praise into the next level, into the next dimension. So all of you started together? Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. That's a blessing. We pray that you stay together. Now, uh, your CD, Life Support, we're going to let we come back. We want you to explain to us about Life Support, but we're going to listen to us. The title track off of there is Life Support also, right? Okay, well, we're going to listen to Life Support Breathe. And when we come back, we want you to explain to us how you got that name. What have, how did you put that together that you named the CD Life Support? Amen. That's a wonderful name. Mm -hmm. um, well, honestly, that's one of the songs it's hard to really, really get through. Um, the song is entitled Life Support. Um, commonly, we call it Breathe because of the hook. You hear that breathe sound all the way through it. Um, the song comes from um, the situation I lost my, um, my aunt, who was the first lady of my church, um, to breast cancer. And then weeks later, I had another aunt to go into the hospital with multiple sclerosis, which is a muscling disabling disease. Um, it even deteriorates the mind. Um, and then moving even further, while visiting that aunt in the hospital, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. All these things backed me into the room by myself where I couldn't depend on anybody else but God and the Bible says let everything that have breath praise the Lord and I said you know what God I can't breathe right now I'm, I'm losing my I, I lost my aunt I lost another aunt and my mom's diagnosed with breast cancer and God simply just spoke to me and said you know what you don't have to breathe anymore I'm going to breathe for you I will be your life support oh my God and I think uh, quite a few of us have been there. I lost my mother to cancer, too. And when I heard that song, it was really, really special to me. Now, you have an organization, Survivor I Am. Tell us about that. Well, Survivor I Am is an organization of a couple of me, a few of my buddies. We pretty much came together. This is the train. I love you. Um, and we said, you know what, there's a lot of people that aren't really being seen. You know, the Bible talks about how we ought to go visit the sick. When I was when I was sick, you didn't come. And we want to make sure that those people are not forgotten. And um, Survivor I Am is an organization that puts together um, packages um, that have things that breast cancer patients would need, um, um, like nail polish or um, head scarves and different things like that. Oh my God, that's awesome. Now, if someone wanted to help in any way, could you give them information? Oh yes, you can easily find us on all of the social networks like MySpace and Twitter and um, Facebook. And also you can go to our website, um, www.praisem.com. Praisem is spelled P-R-A-I-Z-U-M. Yes, you heard it right. P-R-A-I-Z-U-M. Praisem. I like that too. Now, uh, same thing for buying your CD. Can you tell them what stores where they can locate your CD? Actually, if you live in the Los Angeles area, you can get it at um, Word of Life Christian Bookstore. Also, you can get it at um, West Angeles Church of God in Christ, their Christian bookstore. You can get it off of our website, and you can get it off of CD Baby and iTunes as well. Wow, that's awesome. We were so glad to have Minister Lorenzo here. And all the young ladies that he bought with him and minister you bought cds does that mean we'll be oh yes yeah. we brought some cds to bless the people of go listen go gospel all right so you know what that means at the end of the show you'll be calling into 310-674-5896 amen and minister we have another guest but are you guys going to hang around with us almost definitely all right that's awesome 